Tensions between China and the U.S. threaten to splinter the world along Cold War lines. Beijing is now trying to shore up relations with Europe and Asia. But Taiwan, which China considers a renegade province, remains a thorn in its side. Now, a visit to the island by Czech Senate Speaker Miloš Vistachil has triggered harsh words from Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi, even as he continues his charm offensive in Europe. China has reacted angrily to an official visit to Taiwan led by the Czech Republic's Senate Chairman, with Foreign Minister Wang Yi saying that those who challenge the One China principle will have to pay a heavy price for their moves. China's position is that countries with which they have diplomatic ties cannot recognize Taiwan diplomatically, even as many of these maintain unofficial ties with Taiwan. The incident is just one example of how, as China tries to court Europe, it's also coming up against differences in political ideology and values. As Mr Wang wraps up his trip to Europe, we've seen that his focus has been on trade and economic development. His goal is to repair ties and lobby for access for Chinese companies like Huawei. But it's been increasingly difficult for him to keep to his message on trade cooperation, on 5G technology, the Belt and Road Initiative, and the EU-China investment deal. His counterparts, particularly in France and the Netherlands, have raised with him concerns over the human rights situation in Hong Kong and in Xinjiang, concerns that Mr Wang has dismissed as foreign interference in China's internal affairs. Mr Wang is now on the last leg of his visit. He's in Germany where Chancellor Angela Merkel has said that Europe and China should keep the conversation going even on difficult topics on which they do not agree. On its part, China is hoping to strengthen ties with other countries in Asia and in Europe as ties with the US deteriorate. China has accused the US of trying to kill off its most successful companies as the US embarks on a strategy of open confrontation with China. The bilateral tensions could force countries to take sides. And just over the weekend, Russia said it is ready to cooperate with China and Huawei on 5G technology which Moscow is currently trying to develop. In the meantime, embattled tech company ByteDance has just been told that it would need clearance from the Chinese government before it can sell TikTok. This is due to new rules on tech exports. ByteDance has said that it would comply, but at the moment it's still unclear how this would change its situation. ByteDance has been forced by US law to sell TikTok US, and it has until the middle of November to do so. Lynette Lim, CNA, Shanghai.